Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to talk about the Getting Things Done and Business Overview sections of QBO, which have gone through a major overhaul. Now they have not rolled out all the changes to everyone as yet. And as you can see in the screenshot of my firm, I don't have all the enhancements yet, but I do have the two new tabs. We have two new distinct areas that I'm going to show you in just a minute. The getting things done and the business overview. One tab helps you carry out tasks such as the getting things done and the other one which is the business overview which is basically similar to the dashboard that you're used to. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually switch over to some screenshots so you can see what these features look like. And if you don't have these, don't fear, you're going to get those eventually. So let's go ahead and switch over and we'll talk about those in detail. Okay, so we are in the Get Things Done tab of our dashboard. And as you can see, the layout somewhat mimics what you see in desktop. It's divided into money in and money out. And you can see the various shortcuts to the common tasks and workflows that you and your clients will perform as well as you will also see prompts to complete certain setup tasks such as if you don't have any bank accounts set up or if you need to set up a QuickBooks payments account. Now what I love about this feature and I'm looking forward to using this when I get it into my QBO file is that this system is set up with the AI that will enable it to learn to show the shortcuts that we will use most often. And so that's going to help us with making sure that we keep on track with what we need to be doing and not mess things up in QuickBooks Online. So let's go ahead and move on to the Business Overview tab and we'll talk a little bit about it. Okay, so we are in our business overview tab of our dashboard. And one thing that you'll notice hopefully right off the bat is that they've added this new cash flow widget. And the thing that I like about this cash flow widget is that it allows you to see how your money flows over time. And what this does is it allows you a visual representation of money in and money out over time. That way you can work with your client and help them manage their cash flow. Now this will only work with accounts that you have linked in the banking center. So it does not include credit card transactions or anything entered manually in QuickBooks Online or multi-currency transactions. But again, this widget provides a real-time view of the client's current cash balance along with a historical comparison of money in and money out across all connected bank accounts. So this will help you get those clients to focus on doing the best that they can to manage their cash flow. So this is basically all I have for y'all today. Hopefully this will help you. Y'all have a wonderful day and take care everybody. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.